going I'm in the studio, picking shit up like a chemist. All in that bitch mouth, nigga, I'm a dentist. Petty Tupac TV, you already know. Tap the fuck in, man. We running this shit up. ABF or die, bitch. Yeah. What up, though? You already know how it goes. Smash, like, subscribe, comment. I don't care what you comment as long as you comment. You did. I wanted to comment on this real, 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 real quick. The brother C Mac, the low from 55th Street. Popeye's chicken and bro. Uh, that's so stereotypical of us, but it is what it is. I live a stereotypical life too, and the stuff that I done been through. But at the end of the day, when you go through things and build character, you know what I'm saying? You go through things and build character. People that haven't been through things, you see how they act. They can't relate, they can't be humble. They don't know who, what humility is. You know what I'm saying? So. Anyway, I commend the brother for going out, giving his hard-earned money to people randomly on the streets, building the community, no matter what he propagate or the persona that he put on. You got to understand that's a money maker, and, he, and he's doing this thing, man. For somebody like that, that's why YouTube's so good, because for somebody like that, it'd be hard to create a lane and other things. But rap music, they accept everybody. YouTube accept everybody. Just don't offend, you know, certain communities, and you're straight. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to hip-hop music. Shout out to... To, to YouTube for helping guys like me out, C-Mac the low, spreading the word, spreading the message, spreading the brand, and trying to get some money up off this thing. But he got violated, right? And I'm glad that he went on No Jumper and clarified why, because I didn't know. People was telling me to comment on it, especially Ock, shout out at uh, cancelbadcredit.com. He was telling me, man, comment on that, get on. But I didn't know what he got violated for. I didn't really know what to say. I, could, I only could throw out like a general perception of the situation. And I don't really like moving off that. I like moving off facts or, or mostly facts and putting it together or something like that so when i ain't got nothing i don't go off of it but anyway the brother got jumped on he got dp and y'all already probably know what the dp is that's discipline short for discipline uh gangs do that to each other they do that in particular you know bloods and crips i think they do it more barbaric than other organizations uh, street organizations like um uh the gds the vice lords but disciplining um fighting multiple brothers at the same time or a discipline could be i fight one person get 10 seconds to rest fight the second person fight a third person by that fifth person you're probably gonna get whooped on so it get harder and harder and harder you know uh, different people do it different ways in different regions but for the most part with me when i was in gang activity and even with the with the with the more science tip of America, we gave out discipline but it wasn't that type of discipline as far as putting your hands on somebody i always did the exercise thing like you do something you violate okay you got to run 20 laps you got to do uh 100 push-ups 100 sit-ups 100 dips 100 squats and you got to do it all within an hour or two hours later you're gonna have to give it another shot you know what i'm saying or you're gonna be doing it every day till you can get it all out and, but if it's that bad of a, a discipline that somebody got to put their hands on you you could just go on to the streets bro you, you you get through to the wolves you can go on to wherever you want to go, go back out into the wilderness, out in Asia, for real. But a discipline also could be somebody coming to get with you. And and that could be the worst thing, man. So, you know, I heard that he got DP for, from him, from his words, he said he got DP for dissing the neighborhood that he's in and a part of now, years ago. If that ain't the most stupid stuff i ever heard i'm pretty sure i don't diss uh somebody and then was cool with him or whatnot but it was years ago when you're young because he's not that old to me that's just a bunch of thirsty guy you know they did an interview about it like oh cuz good cuz you know had to handle it and i'm pretty sure he blew up the situation too because they wanted to talk uh and he's like nah you know i could see him getting all crazy and wild because he loved to fight but for it to even go that far, man, that's that's just messed up. And people know he got mental health, and he might not have the best communication skills, even though he is sporadic, spontaneous. He articulated himself pretty well, but I, I, you know, when the emotions get to going, the mental health issues that he got kick in. The side, this conversation could go sideways. Them boys just some dust buckets over there. To me, I'm looking at the interview, and I'm like, man, sitting up calling this girl a B all day, you, you know, playing, fighting with her. Uh, uh, disrespecting it oh man you ain't got one curve and i know people play like that in the hood but on, on the camera just make 55th street look bad like me personally bro i won't even wear a chain if it's 
if it ain't hidden. If it ain't hidden, I won't even put that thing on, man. I'm not even going to. I'd rather go out bare neck, bare wrist. Fuck them. Them boys just some dust buckets to me, man. That's all I can say. That's just why I tell people, man, why you want to go join the gang, bro? And, and, and gang, 99% of them ain't about nothing. A very small percentage of gangs actually out here really doing something, man. Then you got these guys go do an interview about it, promote their album off of it. Like, why you just didn't ask the homie to do it? You had a problem with people filming and, and talking about the situation at first, but then you're going to go do an interview about it. If they knew that was on camera, that should never escape the hood, but they played like, oh, they didn't want it on camera, so on and so forth, the whole thing. Like, bro, put y'all on, man. I would be worshiping that guy if I was y'all because ain't nobody about to go listen to y'all. I don't even remember the guy's name from the interview. That's the biggest. I, I had looked it up after I, I looked up the dude, YouTube, that was talking, the rapper, after, uh, you know, I seen what he's talking about. You know, that's his most viewed video on the tube. The one that was talking about c Max situation, whoever pulled up on him. That was his biggest YouTube video. That just made 55th look bad. Make him look bad. Y'all putting, that's the face of the, uh, uh, of the Crips, man. This active and actually in the streets. We ain't talking about Snoop Dogg. Come on, legendary Snoop Dogg and, and, uh, Forget his name with the two braid. I, I don't know. Them California guys can't rap to me, bro. I don't even listen to that music. Uh, most of it, I don't. But shout see C-Mac DeLoe. Don't join no gangs. Ain't no grown 30-year-old men about to be putting their hands on me unless I know I really, really messed up. But if, you, if I was him and you came to me talking about I posted something eight years ago when I was living in Texas about the hood. Because I got into it with somebody and I posted something bad about them in their hood. And you try to discipline me after years and years of repping this. After millions of views on the tube repping this. No, sir. You're going to have to really get it in the blood. You're going to have to really get it in the blood. I'm not about to go lined up with no grown man. Hit me in my mouth, jumping on me, kicking me, or running face back to back to back to back. Unless I just really, really, really messed up. That little minor infraction, man. That's like trying to hold me accountable for something I did when I was nine. Man, peace and blessings be to y'all, man. Shout out to C-Mac Lowe. Big five to you, homie.